So I made a big old pot of gumbo. It was way uphill. And as you could tell, it's like halfway gone. But this is a gumbo. I got blue crabs up in here. Um, fresh shrimp, smoked sausage, and some chicken. But um, yeah, you see how it's like nice and and thick. It's not watery. It's not too thick. It's, it's perfect. Like, it's perfect, y'all. And when this stuff sits overnight, the flavor just absorbs. Oh, my God. It tastes so much better the next day. It's so good the first day. But the next day, it just hits so much differently. If you know, you know. All right. So, I got some water burling for my crabs. And we're just going to put some crab burl in here. Rachel, your girl got some blue crabs. They are alive, too. <laughs> These things like to fight with you. Look at him trying to fight me. Don't, don't, don't play with me. Bitch. <laughs> I say screw it and I dumped the whole bag in here. All right, so I've been burling these for about 20 minutes in some seasoned water. So now we're just going to go ahead and dump this all out in the sink. All right, so I had dumped this all in the sink and we're just going to let this cool down because we got to open them and clean them. So for my shrimp stock, I'm going to use some concentrated crab burl. This stuff is strong. If you know, you know all you need is like a little bit. All right, so these are the like, shrimp peelings with the heads and everything. And before I put it in the water, I like to give it a good, you know, rinse. And now you just come on dump some of your peelings in here. Now I'm going to take some of this slap your mama and we're just going to season our water. Now, this is a big pot, okay? So, this really ain't a lot of seasoning. And then, we gonna put some onion powder in here. And some season oil, season salt, lorries, whatever y'all wanna call it. That's what we doing. So, now we gonna let this cook for about an hour while we make our root. The shrimp heads got all the um, flavor in there. All the fats in there. And I do got the ends of my celery up in here, you know. So, yeah, this, this water smells so good already. See this right here? This your stock. This what all the flavor at. It's been cooking down for about an hour. All these shrimp heads got nothing but the fat up in there. It's full of flavor. Yeah, baby, I'm telling you, when you make your own stock, it really makes a difference to your gumbo. My shrimp stock is done. So now we're just going to strain the, uh, the pot out. And we're going to throw the peelings away and keep the juice and put it to the side. All right, so this is my stock right here, and we're just going to cover this up until we need it. So I bought a rotisserie chicken, cleaned it, took it off the bones, you know, everything. So now I'm going to throw it in the pot with a little bit of my uh, cut-up seasonings, and we're going to season it as well. All right, so in here I got two red bell peppers, two green bell peppers, four sticks of celery, and two large yellow onions. So we're going to throw some of our Holy Trinity up in here, and we're going to season it. Some slap your mama. Throw some seasoning all in here. Some onion powder. All right, so my chicken is done cooking. I put it back in the container. See all them juices right there? You want to keep everything. You just want to dump the pot into the uh, container, the whole thing. And now you want to get your smoked sausage. I had cut mine into fours. I put my, you know, my whole trinity up in here. And I'm just cooking these sausages down. I could say for me about a good, about 15, 20 minutes, and then we're gonna take all that grease out. All right, so I cleaned my pot. Now we're about to make some roux. Now for the ones who don't know, I don't really measure, okay? But all you're gonna need is some flour and some vegetable oil. I'm gonna pour some vegetable oil in here. Just to cover the bottom, because it's a big pot. And now we're gonna Throw our flour in here. I'm gonna use the whole thing because I ain't got much left in this bag. You want to get it to that consistency that's like a little loose and a little thick. I'm gonna definitely need to add some more flour to this, but I'm gonna just stir all this up and I'll add more flour in a little minute. So 
So I opened up another bag of flour because I only had a little left in this. And I'm definitely going to use a scooper because this is kind of heavy. So I just added a, a cup more. And then we just going to stir it up. All right, so this is the consistency that I wanted. It's not too watery. It's not too thick. It's like creamy. So I got my stove on like a, between like a medium low. So now we're just going to have to cook this, you know, carefully. And, and I'm telling you, if you mess up the roux, you ruin the whole gumbo. Okay, you just ruined everything. So you want to have patience and cook this nice and slow. Because it's all in the room. I promise you, it's all in the room. See, once you get it to that pretty chocolate color, it's done, baby. I've been cooking this for an hour and 15 minutes. And it got it looking nice and brown. So we're going to throw our seasonings up in here. So now we're going to take our seasonings and we're going to dump it in the room. And we're going to saute this down for about a good 30 minutes. All right, I know this doesn't look appealing, but once you throw your veggies in here and you cook this down, of course, it's going to look like this. You want to saute it real, real good. And now we're just going to throw a little bit of our stock in here, you know, just two cups by two cups, you know, and then we're going to mix it all up because you don't want to put too much at once. So you're just going to throw a little bit of your stock, you know, you're going to do a few cups at a time because you want to get all this stuff up. It's going to be real, real thick. You're just going to keep doing it. I don't put maybe about six cups of stock in here already. And you see how it's like real thick. So you just want to like break it all up. And then just keep adding some more stock as we go. Because this stuff is really hot. And you don't want to add too much at once. Because it's going to be hard to break down. And you know it's just going to splash on you. And this, this stock is still hot. So you know once it you know breaks down a little bit. You could keep adding more stock. See, look how beautiful that color is. So now I'm going to take one container of unsalted chicken stock and dump the whole thing in here. And now we're just going to season with the heart. And now we're going to throw another um, container of regular chicken stock. The whole container. it all up so I had cleaned my crabs took the lungs out you know everything and now we're just gonna dump it in the pot and now you want to take all your chicken and dump it all in the pot too now you're gonna take all your smoked sausage and dump it in the pot and now you're just gonna mix everything together in a few minutes we're gonna add our shrimps see how nice and, and thick the roux is it's not watery it's not too thick. It's perfect, baby. It's perfect. So we're going to let this cook down for about a good 10 minutes. You want to get all the flavors in the crabs and stuff. And then we're going to throw our shrimp in. And the only reason why I do that is because you don't want to overcook shrimp. Because it can get a little tough. And it's just it's not going to be right. All right. So we got the gumbo done. It's been cooking for about a good 15 minutes. You know, you want to get all that flavor inside them crabs. And, um... See how, look how thick it is. It's not watery. It's not, it's perfect. So now we're going to throw raw shrimp in here. And now you're just going to let this cook for about a good, maybe like another 15 minutes. And it's done, baby. 
So after you throw your raw shrimps in here, you're just going to sprinkle just a little bit of crab oil. Not too much. And let this cook for like another, you know, 15, 20 minutes. You want these shrimps to cook thoroughly. And we done. We're going to serve this over some rice. We about to eat, baby. It's nothing but flavor.